Hey, you, looking good today. Also, thank you for watching my Alan Wake 2 series. Hope you're sitting back in a dark room, headphones on, with a hot cup of cocoa. This game is a real adventure. If you end up liking the video, please feel free to subscribe. It'll be much appreciated. But enough talk. Let's get started. Fuck the government. We have full cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere. So this is Alan Wake 2, huh? I had absolutely no idea that this was coming out. I remember watching the first game and uncertain if this second one is even connected to it. But hey, subtitles will be on. Nudity, unfortunately, will be off. Gotta keep that monetization. And I say, let's see what's in store for us. Best not to keep the viewers waiting. Let's get started. It will be playing over on normal mode because, you know, we do want a little bit of a story, but not have it be too, you know, difficult for us. We want to do a little bit of this and hit continue. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. Okay, very poetic, I gotta say, to start off with. It is kind of a novel of a game. Very interesting to see where it's gonna take us. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. Oh dear God, what are we looking at? Is that, is that a deer? This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. I mean, and monsters wear many faces. It is a story, then. That is a very clean transition. Very nice. Hope you all are sitting in a dark room. Headphones on. Nice and cozy. Here, God, man, wear some pants. Uh, all right, and it looks like we are into it. Uh, can I see myself? I got myself <laughs> one neck of a beer belly. <laughs> What's going on here? So I would, I would like to mention that I've got all the settings on the highest can go, all ray tracing, full ultra graphics. Which is why I'm a little bit surprised that like even the underwear seems kind of you know a little uh a little bland but so far it's looking pretty good honestly now that mist quality through the trees is honestly looking fantastic can I see my face let me see my face <laughs> let me see my face <laughs> all right all right let's keep the mood let's keep the mood what do we have going on here Hey, Wait, they're just they're just going to notice some old like beat up dude who's like down in the mud and just leave him alone. You're not going to say hello. I mean, I feel like I might also do that. There's something sitting over here. Hello. Hearing voices. I am doing this with a controller simply to keep the clicking and clacking noises of the mouse away from the microphone and it does it does kind of seem like a controller type of game that you would best have a you know better experience with using a controller so we're kind of just truffling through the grass at the moment sensitivity does seem a little high though oh that's where i just heard somebody oh dear god Okay, yeah, this is a uh, good point to say. Oh, no. <laughs> um, as I was just saying, this is a good point in the video to say I don't do well with horror games. I don't do well with getting scared. 
so these are going to be some proper jump scares for me. But I really hope that I can record this all well through the first time and not have to like go through it a second time and act, and, you know, act scared. Like, well, I don't know what's going to happen. I really want this all to be a one and done full on situation. I want to make sure all this is fully genuine. I do. Why do I need to toggle sprinting? It's not very much of a sprint. Yeah, I, I do not do well with horror games. I get very scared. I'm very jumpy. Oh God, when's the next one going to be? Oh, I'm already in. Oh. What are you? What are you? <laughs> so I am losing my mind. I am hallucinating. I'm schizophrenic. I don't know. Hey, to those of you who might. Oh dear God, to those of you who know more about the lore and history of the Alan Wake series. Go ahead and leave those down in the comments down below if I ever ask any questions about what is this, what are they? Oh, it's just a tree. It's just a tree. It's just a tree. <laughs> Got a little afraid there for a second. Hello? Um, I'm going to start backing up. I'm going to start backing up. That doesn't seem good. Oh, 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 oh yeah. no, 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 that does not seem good. That does not seem good. Oh, God. Did he just stab me? Oh God! What is going on? Oh God, lots of imagery. Oh. Where's the rest of the stuff? I need to finish this. What the fuck? Oh, no. oh, the kids, the kids from earlier. Okay, uh, first of all, I really love the sound design, not gonna lie, might steal some of these for some sound effects in the future. <laughs> Maybe even for working on my movie, I could really, uh, steal a couple of that, like, deep bass sounds. My god. Yep, there it is, Alan. Wake. Dose. Oh, that is such good sound design. Sound design can really make or break a game. Oh, but now we're all happy and cozy. We're enjoying ourselves. Piano playing in the background. Super chill hey, out in the girl. trees. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? Oh. This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. <laughs> Just work stuff. Right. She like well, an investigator? I'm just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan. <laughs> I will. Bye, kiddo. What is this? Sounds like it's kind of like some 14 year old kid kind of like, uh, yeah, they are. They're detectives. I saw that uh, fire watch tower out there in the distance. Logan thinks <laughs> you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. Crack a smile, my man. Crack a smile. And unison coffee drink. I don't really like coffee. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. FBI. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. 
the lip syncing seems a little off on my seems it seems a little odd but it seems like they're they're just kind of opening the mouths more so than they are like actually making the movements cauldron lake time to get to work Ooh, a little bit of a stutter there Very beautiful game, though. I definitely supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car. So where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Turn one. Invitation. Nice. Now, let's see here. Is the game going to run smoothly? Uh, worth memorizing. Oh, dear God. No, oh, dear God. <laughs> swallowed up by the trees. Look at that motion blur. You know, I was I I debated I on turning it on or off. Yes, you will take a look at that as soon as I take a look at my settings. Ah, there we are. Now it is running much better. I I, I turned off that motion blur because that motion blur was terrible. I don't know why they would ever have that on because now we can actually go ahead and see things when we turn around a little fast, not just have it be like a well a blur of colors. Yeah, it's all running great now. Honestly, I turned down a little bit on the on the light tracing, but it seems to be doing great. So yeah, I hope that you are all ready before we jump fully into this. You know, again, I hope that you are all in a dark room. You have your headset on. Maybe you're even just chilling at work and watching. So you got some like, earbuds in or something. But you know, get yourself nice and cozy. Enjoy the experience. Don't get too scared. Hopefully, I should be able to get some of these out just in time for spooky season. You know, spooky season. We got uh, October 31st. Halloween is coming up soon. So enjoy yourselves and uh, feel free to leave comments down below. Like the video, subscribe, all that fun crap. We'll just go ahead and get that out of the way now. Uh, I think the most time I'll ever say is, you know, maybe comment, and that's really about it. Let's get started. I'm excited. Okay, I do not need achievements. <laughs> I think I hear someone. I'm not walking all the way back Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. The uh, Epic Games keeps on giving me achievements every time I do something. Let's see here. Okay. So we're over here by the parking lot. We're going towards the rental cabins. Bony legged path. Okay, general store, witch's hut, witch's ladle. Seems like a weird area to have a general store at here in the very middle of the woods. It's not really, I guess it's kind of off the main road, but uh, okay. See what's going on over here. We, can we sprint already? Yeah, get that jog on. Over here. Hey there, Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Uh, yeah, I'm in charge here. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm the Anderson. boss. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that... Uh, damn show up, Mulligan? Federal agents right here, Thornton. <laughs> my partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. They're right behind me, aren't they? They call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit. They didn't hear me, did they? I like Thornton. Thornton kind of seems like a, a very, like, <laughs> kind of, I don't know, like a hillbilly, like, oh, hill. Well, come on there, Clytus. Let's go get, get him. Uh, I could use a briefing, any witnesses. To, yeah, no, let's get a briefing first. We need to start asking what questions. Can you tell us about the crime scene. Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. Do you need to press a button well, typically? We reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's, uh, I don't think you're the brightest tool in the shed either. Or wait, the brightest tool, um, uh, look, I'm a YouTuber. I don't have to be smart. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Yeah, let me ask questions. I wonder that. Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? They have city worry. slickers. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. All right, well, uh, let's go take a look at the body. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. We can hear you, Thornton. Thornton. 
you don't need to whisper either. Like we we can tell that you're talking to your Thornton. I mean, I don't know if he's your Thornton, but a Thornton. Meet Deputy Thornton at the general store. Get to the Before crime we get scene. To the crime scene. There's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Case board. Okay, you can press the case board inside the mine place. <laughs> In the mine place. The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. Ah, so that's how you're going to get around it. Board. It's all in my imagination. It's okay. Oh, you can really just side shuffle around in here. Let's take a look around here, though. Let's see if we got some good lighting. Not really good scenery, you know. It's in my place. You think you might want to get something a little bit more like... I don't know, like happy, like some trees outside. Got a big old deer on the on the back. Got pictures of your okay, so it was your daughter and some guy working at, in the kitchen. Cool, great. Uh can't go through that door. That's not part of the mind place. You haven't thought of that section yet. Oh, but you did think of plenty of wine. <laughs> of course you did. Of course you did. All right. Um some tea. Great. Everything we know about the previous murders. Uh -huh. taking another look right so the case board is a mental technique that allows saga seja su 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 sugoi su sugoi to analyze clues and progress the investigation all right um victims all victims reported missing in 2010 no other commodity so this is 2010 uh you can use r to move around yes okay ilt and rt to zoom in it's not a very good zoom you're not afraid to navigate the case board or leave by pressing b okay so yeah, you got some victims reported missing in 2010. No other com commonalities. What do we have here? These almost look like versions actually just real photos of people. Ted Lane. Uh, oh, you can okay, you can zoom in a lot better. Ted Lane, a dentist, stab wounds, bloating, bruising. Teacher, body, bloated, large chest wound. Store owner, bruising, heart removed, strange tattoos. So they all seem to be. No other commonalities. They all seem to be missing their hearts. I mean, I feel like that's kind of a commonality to start off with. Um, I mean, bloating, bruising, I mean, dentist, teacher, store owner. So they're all kind of pronounced people. Bruising, yeah, deep gash, all bodies, at risk of bloating. It's probably because they're just older. You know, our guy did wake up in the water. So I wonder if that's something to do with it. Killer profile, horse modem, tattooing of the body. Murder targets have no discernible common traits. Chest trauma resembles animal butchery techniques. Yeah, okay. Goals? Get to the crime scene, meet Deputy Thornton at the turtle store. Okay, great. Uh, and then I guess I can just press it again to get out of here, right? I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Visiting the mine place does not pause the game, so be mindful of your surroundings. Okay. That's actually kind of neat. Too much sky. Too much... What? Brother, you really need to learn to lighten up. Mike, too much sky? Everywhere you go has sky. It's called Anderson, the world. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. Oh, he said you it. Crack cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. I mean, she's got a point though, because like you said, oh, it's my last case, the last one. I swear, I can quit any time I want. Down. I'm not that old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, I mean, you look like you're probably like what you're 47. I'm gonna guess 47. Either that, you're gonna be like 53. Oh, what do we got here? Ah, oh, Merritt Peak. The mighty mountain in distance is no other than Merritt's Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, oh, okay, we have to do this. From the right angle, his beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all his inverted glory. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Can I actually like zoom in towards the mountain? Oh, yeah. Look at that mountain, guys. Oh, yeah. I really love the way that, like, the, the, the green comes out. Oh, that's a tree. Oh, my bad. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is very beautiful. I would love to see it. But I really hate it. Like, I've seen these places in real life where, like, you'll see these vista points, but then the trees will just kind of block the view. Like, you think they do some trimming. Like, you don't got to tear down the tree. Just, like, trim off the top of it, right? So you can kind of get a better view of what's going on. That's okay. It's fine. It's a video game, but also happens in real life. It's okay. May as well just start traveling around with the chainsaws. I can do it myself. 
Uh, we need to go down to the general store. Okay, he knows where he's going. I'm gonna follow him. <laughs> I was about to check the map, but not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. Yeah, you know, it's pretty good. Pretty good scenery. Your thing. I mean, out in the woods, away from prying eyes, except those couple Damn. of kids I saw. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only of thing around like the here rain. that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did. Next coffee's on me. Casey, you are so, you're such like an emo boy. My God, you like, so doom and gloom. Like you, you kind of remind me of Mr. Anderson. Like you look like a Mr. Anderson to me. All right, let's keep on going. Oh, how do, how do they have Thornton? I take it. That's me at your service. Ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. And not a very good general store. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I, I knew it didn't seem like a good place to have a so, store. FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. Yeah, I don't know so much about that last one, buddy. Cover -ups. What? Those are real? Yeah, they're you real. <laughs> Gordon, he's Let's just see this body, shall we? Also, you seem to be uh, confusing us. Uh, we're not the federal uh, bureaucracy investigators. We are the federal booty inspectors. And damn boy, you are looking flat as all hell. Honestly, yeah, not gonna lie, ain't got crime. nothing here. We found him on the table, and we didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures and stuff. Uh huh. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay, let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does All right, this well, fit the MO of the previous murders? Just looking at it immediately? Probably. So as a federal booty inspector, Step I gotta one. tell you, Mr. Step Anderson, mm, you know, no, you're hiding it. I, I I respect you haven't respect. You know, I respect the, the kind of the, the dreads you got going on here, but uh, you know, uh not not doing good for the booty inspector, and you know, it's not 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 uh Wanna not fun for it. Inspecting the body, Anderson? Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I, okay, first off, how's his booty looking? Can't see. Okay, expect the body. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, I don't know how to tell you guys this. Some bad news. He's dead. You know, I never seen the FBI investigate a murder victim before, except in the movies. Have you ever seen the FBI before? Yeah, didn't think so. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Uh, yeah, you unlock the first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mind palace. Ah, I hate calling it the mind place. It just seems so dumb. Okay, so what do we got here? Clues. Cauldron Lake murder scene. So I suppose that should be killer profile, I suppose. Uh, allow a second to see active clues. The key image can be selected with A and placed on the case board. Okay. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? I mean, it kind of happened like last night, so I mean, I don't think so. Placing key image on the case where it begins a new line of investigation. Continue. When a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Consistent with other murders? Another body has been found. Objective viewable in the case board in your goals. Okay, yeah, press Y. Investigate the crime scene. Yep. Consistent with previous murders. I would have to say it's pretty consistent. You're now free to examine the case board or leave by B. Okay. Uh, can I move all the way? God, it allows you to really just go all the way around, huh? So this is an entirely new board then that we need to kind of figure out. All right. Well, great. Uh, ooh, okay. So we have several different choices there. Oh, we need to find clues for them. Okay. Let's see here. Clues. Hmm. The heart is not in the body. You can click clues from the body to progress the investigation. The collect the, the heart. Right next to the body. Yeah, uh, the other bodies also seem to be wound. missing their wounds Just or missing their open. hearts. Heart removed. Yeah, that's where the heart would Bruising be. on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. All right. Yeah, I mean, there was one victim that had bruising, so maybe they also used some simple other means of just tying down the victim. Go to the case board in my mind place. Newly discovered clues can be placed into the open question. Okay. Um, cases. New. Um. Investigate. Ah, that's right. Up on the D-pad. Cargo straps used to restrain the victim. Heart found near the body. So, newly discovered clues into the open question. What is the open question? Do I just drop it here? Okay. No. 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 
No, no. What do you, what do you mean, no? Okay. Major chest trauma. Can I... Oh, you gotta drop it down on, like, the actual question. Consistent previous murders. Hmm. Heart removed from chest. Strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. Yeah, I know. But Saga, I told you that. straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. You can count real good. The clues, have, the clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a new deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. Okay. Um, You can check the updated goals by pressing Y, of course, yeah. Learn more about the victim, learn more about the killer. Neat. So the killer is the victim, right? So it's kind of starting to branch out into other territories. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. Yeah, that kind of happens the when you tear out an entire here. heart. Yes, we know that he died. Okay, I can already tell exactly, exactly where this game's going to go. <laughs> Half the dialogue can be the super obvious Multiple stuff. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Okay, I mean, I guess I, you see a whole bunch of footprints, but there are other different types of footprints. So I suppose you can be a little bit harder to surmise, you know, with other people. Uh, let's see, do we got stuff going on here? Where people people were hiding behind these trees before. Nothing else kind of hiding around here. Maybe can, can I get behind here? Yes, you can. Look for stuff. Because the kids were kind of hiding, right? And then they got hurt and then they ran off somewhere. I'm going to go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Uh, hey, I'm back. <laughs> Did you miss me? I was gone for like four seconds. Let's see here. A cooler with some brewskis. Yeah, buddy. Uh-huh. Look inside the Someone cooler. drinking beer. They wow. spent time here, waiting. Or just straight up partying. Someone left in a hurry. Knock the tripod over. All right. Is it for okay. a camera? Yeah, I was gonna say for a tripod, there's probably gonna be a camera. Okay. Anything else? No. Doing good. I I'm gonna be I'm gonna get very very pretentious about just like all this stuff. Have you identified the victim? Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, yeah, uh, he's sister. dead now. Yeah, thank you for being inclusive. Let me just go by speaking to people as well as examining your surroundings. You knew the so victim? You knew victim. Are you gonna cry? Well, I didn't Are you sad? Him in his current state, but yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. That jawline, though. Working cases together. Mm. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Oh yeah, so he's been missing since twenty. What happened since so he got what fired? What happened to Nightingale after the bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze. Booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. They got like schizophrenic, like super freaked out and anxiety induced. I think there's more to that story. But no happy ending. I mean, maybe he wanted to die. Maybe this is his happy ending. I mean, who are we to judge? Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Okay, so it's 2023 right now. Pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Yeah. All right. You're so doom and gloom, my man. So that is 2023. Then. For now, at least. Mm -hmm. You think, think that's everything? Yet. Not sure. Need yeah, to think about it. Yeah. Let me go into my mind palace real quick, and I'm immediately here. Okay. I like that. Though. That is very. Was he killed here or brought here after? It's very instantaneous. Like it has to load in a little bit, but uh, that's very quick. Okay, so let's see here. Look at all of our clues. Mr. Anderson, Casey Nightingale went off the deep end and the FBI fired him. So the victim, that's going to go to the victim parts. And then Thornton victim is Robert Nightingale. I've seen Bright Falls 13 years ago. That's going to go to the victim parts. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Yep, we just went over that information. And then now we can go about multiple sets of footprints. So that's going to be multiple killers, perhaps. We got a different heavy blood splatter on the table. Is that killers, I suppose? That could also just go to the victim. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. 
premeditated or spontaneous? Ooh. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say it was premeditated because they wouldn't have like a tripod and kind of have things set up. And they, they had like drinks ready too. So it seems kind of premeditated to me. They planned for the murder to happen here. Ooh, those graphics the though. Time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Well, they probably got rid of him because he has been missing for 13 years that they knew that no one would really necessarily be like looking for him, right? I mean... Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Are you sure? He got his heart ripped out. Them to guide my intuition to a revelation. A revelation. Piece it together. Piece it together. Piece by piece if I have to, but I will have your head. Sorry, just uh, quoting the wolf. <laughs> the wolf from... uh from uh, uh, Stronghold Kingdoms or Stronghold in general. Uh, use a profound site Saga's mind place to get inside the heads of the... Okay, is it Saga? Is it Seja? Is, 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 is it Sagoi? I need I need, I need, need to pay attention to when they say her up. name. Not the worst, Mom. Well, oh, I, I mean, I guess, okay, it's kind of quirky, I suppose. Yeah, all right, I, I guess. What do we got, Mr. Nightingale? Missing person, ritual murder. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Are you really going to trace through 13 years of information? It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. How did you surmise that? That seemed like a very far stretch. I mean, I guess you can kind of tell because like there's a lake nearby and he's not wearing any clothes and he seems wet. So I guess that kind of goes towards the bloated side. Okay, the ritual Nightingale murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Flick the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Because he's somebody's very crazy? Home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Okay, what if I go into my mind place? I think that they knew that this nightingale guy has been missing for 13 years, so he's easy to take out. Now, because he was easy to take out, they also knew that he, on top of that, he was also getting a little bit crazy. He was an alcoholic. He started seeing things, started seeing ghosts. People might think he just got crazy. And then because people think he was just crazy and a missing, then no one it's the perfect crime people are just gonna suspect that he's just another dude that just you know went off himself but the heart being taken out ritualistic very susceptible very trackable very impressionable a perfect target to make all this go through victim came from uh nightingale came from cauldron lake yep he he came from the lake cool i can feel the nightingale came from the lake but why now after 13 years where has he been I don't know, we go bring, why do you bring us debit card? It's 2023, just go look at his old past purchases or something like that, right? I'm sure you can do it. Look at all his past, like, tax. I'm sure you can find it. You're the FBI, I'm sure you have, like, access to all that kind of stuff. All right, uh, is that everything, I, I suppose? Profiling, a map, case board. Yep, yeah, that seems to be good. All right, let's get out of here. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake lead the way sounds good uh, this way right right i'm trying to see okay. if i can get saga's well, like I'll just, uh, viewpoint i'll just wait here yeah you just chill right there thornton make sure the body doesn't get anywhere <laughs> you know he doesn't walk up and get off on his own okay you stay you stay dry now Anderson. did something happen at the lake i think nightingale came up from that direction from a lake probably looking for shelter safety they were waiting for him when you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. I mean, you sure. could just look at the footprints, right? I mean, it's if not you... not complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night. Possibly uh -huh. knew. The killers knew he was here. Ambushed him. Dragged him to the campgrounds. Strapped him to the table. Cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this no. guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? He wasn't skinny dipping. I haven't figured dipping. that part out yet. Mm-hmm. 
Lots See, that's what I'm saying. You could just follow the footprints. Lots of Be answers for us to find. Uh -huh. I didn't know trees got that big. It's probably a sequoia. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. Yeah, you guys talk a lot. Not going to lie, it's going to be a little bit hard. I'm going to have to find a way to draw a fine line between, like, talking over you guys and, like, not talking over you guys. But also, yes, the tree is very big. It almost seems like a giant oak, but I think the only trees that actually get that big are sequoia trees. And usually find those over in, like, California, question mark? I don't know. They're kind of like the largest living trees, like, in, like in the world right now. The and the oldest. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come like out from under the boulder. Uh huh. No sense. The, why, is, why are the footprints like all black? Like that's not just water, is it? Like what? Were they like have ink on their like the bottom of their feet? What does the paper say? Looks like got some. Of text on one side. Yeah, that's that's what not papers do. Written with a typewriter, old school. Okay. Okay. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm hmm like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. Now, was it it's on purpose right. or accident? The text is about us. Oh. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was a the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the words. words. These words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. Is this Alan? How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Like, hold it. He was, he was, he was, like, influenced to come here. Someone's been watching us. I don't need an achievement, not the last. Oh my God. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either yeah, he dropped okay. this page, or the killers left it for us. Uh, lots of dialogue. I mean, of course. Okay, I so uh, about I this page. think what's happening here is that Nightingale was somehow connected to all the cultists and maybe kind of found them through a means of like sanctuary because he was going through such a mental crisis of being a bit schizophrenic and drunkard and life falling apart so maybe he reached out to them or maybe they reached out to him knowing that he was a susceptible target and then because of that he was easily lured out into the area perhaps dr drugged maybe he's drugged but i think he was kind of like lured out to the area and like hit unconscious woke up in the water was looking around for like looking around for help you were stuck or unsure uh saw something about there so we need to go to the mind palace and do something about the case board right so i have Footprints emerging from under the rock. Victim came from. So yeah, this is all in the same area. So he didn't come from under the rock. He came from the water. Trail has gone cold. Okay. Uh, for later, trail has gone cold. It's dark. He went from a lake that's not a lake. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. He definitely came from the lake. Anything else here? Uh. Reading these words, these words felt like a message. Someone playing a game with them. So what was that weird kind of situation where it was kind of transitioning over to have like, what is, is that Alan? Is that Mr. Alan Wake that was typewriting? Is he kind of like the mastermind behind all this? Is he writing this story of like what like past occurrences? I'm a little bit, I don't know, leave a comment down below if you know the answer. Like I, I don't remember a lot of what happened with Alan Wake 1. So, you know, feel free to leave a comment down below if you know a little bit more of the lore and how this might all apply. Now, hang on, it's in Cauldron Lake. So, we should be going this way. So, that's, that's where the tracks came from. Well, he definitely came from the lake. So, can we go somewhere off in this direction I'll and in find Roger. more clues? We have a swamp right here. Can't go any further. Water's too deep. Right, but you said that it doesn't make any sense that his trail led off into like a tree. It doesn't seem to make any sense, but there's water right there. It's like a swamp. And he's very mucky. So he's thrown and tossed out there, being drugged and susceptible, and then lured out there. And ah, uh, witch's ladle? A witch with no heart. Hmm. Strange echo of owl murder. Hmm. 
There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape, and yet there are many mystery stories about the lake, it being a gloomy doorway to the underworld of which whose cauldron the lake really was. So there's a symbolism here. Maybe the cultists did it in a sense of trying to just, again, symbolism of like an underworld, ritualistic, trying to do an offering, maybe to an under god. The legends tell that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped little grew into a strange tree named Witch's Ladle. Okay. So that kind of, again, going into the tree. The one returned to avenge her wrongdoers if she was not a witch before she was now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box with the heart. She would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf, or so the legend goes. I mean, look, I mean, if you need any more clues, that is almost precisely exactly what has happened here. I mean, what what else do you really need to... <laughs> what, what, I mean, that's, that's exactly, that's so on par to what has happened. Um... Hello? Oh, I can jump up here? Nice, a little bit exploratory. Uh, FBI, I gotta say, Saja, your booty is looking fantastic. Better than everyone something. else around here. You are getting like a, a six out of here. ten. Six. Ah, uh, well, you know what? Uh, yeah, no, six out of ten. Six out of ten. So I said I think I saw something, huh? We have a house up here. Wonder if there's anything like them like waiting around, maybe kind of like scouting out the area. Jesus Christ. Okay, careful with the door. And why am I moving around that picture? Just kind of push everything out of the way. <laughs> Don't mind me. Hope no one else ever uses this place. No other clues going around. The witch's hut. Okay, well, this, is, this is the witch's hut. I mean, I guess I may as well read it. Maybe it'll give me a clue. The witch's hut. Here live the witch of culture. Like, beware her spirit may still haunt this place. I, yeah. You know, you guys really need to take better, per like, better care of this, like, you know, touristy? Would you call it touristy? I guess it's not very touristy, but, you know, you guys need to be taking better care of all this place. Everything's overgrown. You're going to get some, like, some visitors here. Oh, hello. Wait, what is this is overlooking? Kids lunchbox? Is this where the kids were hanging out? Because they were kind of chilling up here, and that's where they saw the dude walking, right? Wasn't it down here? No, that's all water. But they were definitely hanging out here. An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a manuscript fragments. He hates those cheesy crime books. Manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in the mind place. Why do I need to upgrade weapons? Excuse me? Pistols? Again and again, I need 12 to upgrade. Hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. This significantly increases the rate of fire, increase magazine size by 50%, land two headshots in quick succession to stun an enemy for an extended duration. Oh my god. What? There, okay, there, apparently there's upgrades to your weapons in this game. Was not anticipating that. That's gonna be a little bit more story driven. Um, all right. Do we really need to read all this? Okay. Hey. I'm going to do a call to action right now in the very first step. So let me get this out of the way. Leave a comment down below. Do you want me to read all of the dialogue or would you rather just a situation where I cover, I hover over it for a little bit. You can pause and read it yourself or whatever is going on because there is a lot of dialogue that seems to be going on around here. So today it's just, she said, thanks fucking kill me. Oh my gosh. Snuck out last night. Hang on a second. This seems like drama. A Friday. A Mitch told me today that her family's moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and get her to a better school in the big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright fucking balls? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I'm just going to like, 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 I don't know, like daddy's little girl type of accent. So I told her, she said, thanks. Fucking kill me. I'm pretty sure this is actually like a dude, but you know, I already made the voice. I'm sticking with it. Monday. I snuck out last night again, went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here like I always do. Instead of just like sitting around like I always do, screw that. Anyway, something weird is going on down there. I'm going to find out what. Going to go back there tomorrow with better gear and I bet I can find a way inside the building. I take some photos. It's going to be epic. <laughs> Somebody, <laughs> as I said, fucking kill me. <laughs> I don't know. Look. YouTube has got me doing some interesting voices. I don't even know. I didn't know I could even do half these voices. What do we got here? Ooh. What? What? I got gear? Hang on. How did I? How did I? How do I open up my gear? I got a flashlight? 
wait, 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 wait. Where, where did my gear go? Do I need to hold down a button? Whoa, dodge, dodge. Whoa, look out for that sunlight. Whoa, dodge around. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what about RB? RB does nothing. Can I hold? We got our quick selects. Yeah, I can push in the right joystick. Doesn't do anything. I can kind of zoom in with, okay, do that. X doesn't do anything. A doesn't do anything. B. Hello? Okay, B brings out my flashlight. Ah, why is your inventory? I found a battery pack. Batteries for charging the flashlight. Okay. So can I put away the flashlight? How do I put away the flashlight? Down on the D-pad. No. Just press B again. All right, cool. Welcome back, Great. Anderson. Wait, I'm Anderson? I'm Saga Anderson? You look like an Anderson. You are the Anderson. Don't you walk away from me when I'm talking to you and making fun of you and also trying to hit on top of you. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> Look, that jawline's got me thinking something funky. <laughs> you look like an Anderson. I'm not Anderson. We got a house. Things going on. Okay. I mean, I guess I'm going to kind of follow you. You seem to be going somewhere. Back to the original crime scene, I suppose. Hey, you made it back. Yes, Good. we did. Thornton, what'd you figure out? I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Well, just like I said, well, I hope you didn't get stuck in none of those big puddles down there. Well, gee, all of that will, because I tell you what, it's a real downpour right out here. Okay, uh, well, I suppose, fair what happened to Nightingale. I feel like we already kind of did. He died, right? He died. What else do you want from me? Do I need to talk to you guys? All right. Give me a moment while I try to figure out what's going on here. Uh, uh, is it profiling? Okay, we got Nightingale. The page. The page. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was trying. inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. Hang on, wait. How did you figure that out? How did you figure that out? How did you figure that out? Okay, let's read this real quick. The victim was one of their own, FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale, gone missing here 13 years ago. Now he had suddenly turned up, only to be murdered in a brutal and bloody ritual on the very day of the arrival. And then there was the page, this page. The first page had found, not the last, the first step down into terrifying depths, secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading the words, these words felt like a message, was a message, so knew they were here, what they were doing, someone playing a game with them, leading them on, an infantation, how could they not accept the sheer audacity of this impossible mystery presented to them, even if they knew it would end up hurting them? You know, so how did you know that he was, uh, something's inside of him? Sounds kind of hot. It sounds kind of hot. Not gonna lie, it sounds a little uh, hot. A little steamy. What are they putting inside of him? I don't know, but we're gonna figure it out. Nightingale has something inside of him. Oh, the heart of an angel. The voice of a god. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Isn't that usually somebody else's job? I don't think that's usually our see. our job I think to. Something's uh, been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say that's not our job to do that. Did you hear that? Yes. Let's get the body back to town. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key. And, oh, Thornton, any other gate. things here, Thornton? Back to the parking lot just up the hill. You're actually kind of resourceful. Yeah, I want you to sit there and awkwardly hold that. Look at me in the eyes, Thornton, when I'm talking to you. I want you to awkwardly sit there and hold that key for a second. Think about everything that has gone through your life. How did you end up so dumb? Is it the education system? Was it your parents? Or was it more of yourself? Thornton, you and me, we're going to have a problem. Are you, are you feeling awkward yet? You want to take that key? 
All right, look, I'm going to do you a favor and never say that I never did anything for you because I'm going to take that key from you now just to spare you the emotional embarrassment of sitting there and having to hold it, waiting for me to accept it. Yeah? Okay, cool. Grabbing it now. You feel proud, Thornton? Thanks. You know, put your hands on your, on your hips like that? I bet you do feel proud. Take the Let's car back the to Bright Falls. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Okay, so this is how you use your kind of like equipment and things and keys that you find around the area. And Casey, yeah, of course you need a cup of coffee. Seems you like seem a so very far. stereotypical FBI Let's guy. Decide. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. You know, the deputies mostly probably just deal with like drunk drivers, like going through their town or something like that. And hello, is there something up here? Uh, Don't mind me. Again. Who's leaving these out here? Who is leaving these out here? Okay, we've got another manuscript. We're all in this together, hero. Have a heroic day. Awesome. We got another manuscript. We only need like a, <laughs> 10 more. I really got to keep an eye out for these 10, 12 to 18 just to upgrade some of our weapons. It, that is, it's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Not gonna lie. That's a lot. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera to record Whoa. a snuff film? Maybe. You it, get, get, get back up here. Heart just to throw it away. To stuff in something for us to find. You doing okay, Casey? You doing all right? Ah, okay, cool. Great. I, I don't know why you even asked. I forgot that you can teleport. That's one of your FBI like agent like abilities. Yeah. You got your teleportation device with you? Yeah, I can see that you do. Okay, cool. Uh, yes, let's continue on. Got a shortcut key. Cool. Great. Why is the gate in such good? Okay. This is okay. Hang on. Let me, I need a rant for a second. I need a rant for a second. You remember earlier how I was talking about the fact that, you know, usually these parks and Vista points kind of really are really bad about maintaining kind of like, you know, the park and making the area like, you know, habitable and for people to visit and walk around in. But I tell you what, their gates are always state of the art. Look at this thing fresh coated paint no like dents in the fence you got barbed wire up top that's not all bent or like hit over no trees are on the way so the fence is in great top-notch condition but but god forbid if they do a little bit of trimming so you can see the lake better and the mountain better you know when you have like a great vista point or even maintain the general store any of the situations and we get rid of the vines in front of like the signs of the witcher's hut and like you know the lore of the area why why even bother well you know you, you can definitely afford the gate it probably cost you are. more to put up the gate than it did to cost Let's you to just trim the area. Meet the sheriff at the diner. Also, why even put that gate there? It's just a shortcut. It doesn't keep you away from anything. What's even the point? You can get around it. Nine out of ten times when you see fences and gates in other areas, they don't lead anywhere. Ugh. That's if they just look, I like Nate. OK, hang up. Look, OK, hey, hold up. I need to make another hard space shipbreaker episode. I need a I need an entire hour just to rant about that. <laughs> I, need a, I need an entire hour of hard space shipbreaker just to rant about that. OK, what are we doing? There's a police car there. That's probably the sheriff. This is our car. Bright Falls. Let's go. Uh, uh, I can I can rant about that all day, every day because OK, not every day, but script page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Hello, game sound. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were. Casey, have you done anything yet? I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Your weird saga. Peja. Sugoi. Sugoi, that's a. Uh, what is going on here? Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Okay, I thought they were going to park like right in the middle of the road there. Dang, does this town maintain anything? The park isn't maintained. Like their sign here isn't maintained. It's just all kind of overgrown. The street seems to be doing okay. That's, that's whatever, but the like... just up the waterfront. Shouldn't yeah, keep I, the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. Well, there I'm going to keep them waiting, because I want to know what's going on here. I mean, 
the, the street is doing good, but like the paint's doing good. But like, why is everything so overgrown? You got grass there growing out of it. You got like grass over there. This all seems to be kind of like blocked off, very like weird and kind of constricted. This is flooded. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. All the buildings seem to be kind of like dilapidated and stuff like that. Again, hang on. What are you guys all about? Don't know, don't care. <laughs> How much have you had? Not enough. That's how much. Never enough coffee. Oh, that's rich, bittersweet nectar. Get it in, coffee world. Get it where you can. Get it now. Jesus, Charlie. Right. Um, so the funny thing is I just recently watched the map episode about like caffeine and stuff like that. And it doesn't necessarily Yeah, you are sweating that suit. It doesn't necessarily make you actually hyper. It just if anything, the more tired you are, the more hyper you are because they make you hyper because you're tired to keep you more alert. I don't know what you're talking about. And the coffee just, you know, prevents you from feeling tired, so you kinda do that. Oh. Change of topic, please. Hey, I can see his face. I can see your face. I wanna talk to you. What do you know about the murders in town? What do you know about the murders in town? I know you know something. I know you know something. Oh, oh, the oh dear diner. Okay, give me a cup of coffee right now. Anderson, Anderson. I know your name's not Anderson, but you look like an Anderson. Anderson, Anderson. Get yourself a cup of coffee right here. Ten percent off all your coffee theme purchases from the gift shop. From the gift shop. Is ready for winter. I could use a thermos right now. He drank too much. You and me both, brother. I love this. This is content of the year. Let's see. How long can these guys put up this sign? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A little bit higher. A little bit higher. Okay. No. See, the, the problem is that you just keep on waving it back and forth. I need just raise up your arms. Yeah. Okay. You'll, okay. You, you're going to take the sign. Raise it up. Raise it up. It, 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 miss, you should probably get a little bit closer while he raises it. Also, where are you going to be hanging that on? Like, where... Is it going to go in between the two poles? Your ladder is far too short for this. Like, honestly, what are you doing? Your ladder is far too short. You can't reach that all the way up there. And you're going to have, like, the text kind of, like, horizontal or, like, vertical. But it's all... But the text itself is also vertical. It's not going to look good. What are, you, what are you doing? What are you... What are you... What are you doing? I'll be back in a second. What are you achieving? Oh, dear God. Why is there more FBI... Oh, is that Anderson? Hang on, sir. Sir, what do you know about the murders? Y yeah, you... Hello, how's it going there? Oh my god, look at those aviators. My god, brother. You, oh, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were chill like that. Saw it. Saw it. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were chill like that. Saw it. Saw it. Saw it. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Yeah, you're going to hold on to that coffee for a second. Uh, let's see here. Uh, anything else going on in town? The Clay's Clam House. Excuse me. Yeah, I, 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 they have a weekend seafood buffet. Oh my God. I oh, I could go some for some crab right now. Okay, not gonna lie. Okay, did you geez, That's a little bit of my guilty pleasure. I like to get some of that like imitation crab, which is actually just like Alaskan like trout or whatever it is technically. Did I hear doggo? Excuse me. Does this game allow you to pet dogs? Where's the dog? I could have swear I heard a dog over here. This is not the right way. We need another way. Anyway. I can I go wherever I want, Saga. Here. If that is your real name. All right, fine, fine. We will go to the diner as soon as I talk to this guy over here. He looks like a murderer. I'm on the case. Don't you worry, Anderson. I've got this. Are you sweeping up crime? Hey. I'm trying to sweep up crime off the street. You know you are. Where do you? Anderson, she's on drugs. I don't know what she's sweeping. Something random. Okay, you really shouldn't have blocked that door. It's a fire hazard. If not I, who else to protect its citizens from the dangers of unsanitary conditions? You okay, bro? Like, you good? Trash, garbage, refuse, call it what you will. I will make it disappear. Alright, dude, uh, you are on a whole nother level right now. I'm going to go ahead and just move on with my life and talk to these two guys. <laughs> hey there, guys. I'm just a regular federal booty inspector. 
gonna inspect you here. Uh huh. Look, okay, little flat. Gonna give you a three out of ten, buddy. You are leaning up against the car right now and hidden. Respectful. I understand. It's okay. Do you, you guys must be talking sign language because I see you, like having a conversation, but you're not actually doing anything. Okay. Cool. Great. Uh, may, I we should probably get over to that diner, right? I should probably get over to that diner, but this looks squeezable. I cannot squeeze through there. All right, fine. On my way back, though, madam, can I help? You seem to be looking for something. Are you lost? Excuse me, ma'am. 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 Okay, everyone here is on drugs. Honestly. Welcome back. Bright Falls map. Yeah, this we are at Bright Falls. This is oh, okay. The map of the area. Cool. Great. Awesome. Oh, I'm in the mine palace again. Um, how did I get here? Oh, that's right. Imagination. Okay. You uh you done holding those coffees? You must be Sheriff Breaker. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Why? Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. I like it, Sheriff. Uh, hang on a second. Uh, uh, Federal you Booty Inspector, you... You, sent over, Sheriff. you have some big have pants, but I think about your tone. Besides the known victims go missing? You are, sure. you are. But it's hang on a second. Look at that Michael jawline, Christoph. though. You yeah, are... Yes. Brother, you are a stud. Cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Yeah, trying to get a thumbnail. Don't worry, I'm trying to get a thumbnail. Right. Trying to get a thumbnail. Um, okay. Can't quite get, I, I, can I get a thumbnail just those two? Those two standing together? We'll be here. Yeah, I'm sure he will be here. God, look at that though. Look, look at, okay, that, look at that thumbnail opportunity right there. Try to get some frames. Frames, fraps, frippies, fripples. Okay, good, hold still. Thumbnail material right there. Oh yeah, look in the camera, look in the center. Oh, look at that jawline. Oh, mm, Sheriff, you and me, we're gonna talk later. Okay, three. Three ninety nine. Using what was that? Sounds like an explosion. This is a part of the job. I can't dwell on it too much. Are you the Brookers? No, they seem a little bit too old. I think they were a younger couple, weren't they? No. Okay, maybe they are. You know, I'm sorry. I, I just looking at your shadows and silhouettes, you seem like kind of you're a younger Excuse couple. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the Brookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. Saga. So, uh, we Saga. We with anything, because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, scream into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not hey, judging yo. you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Should I take a seat, or am I going to awkwardly stand here for everyone in the you know entire diner to kind of hear our conversations? And why can we scream into the pillows, Ed? Ed, you better be taking good care of her. So, uh, can you tell me what you saw? So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives. Like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Yeah, okay, that, that basically about sums it up. Yeah, pretty good, honestly. Uh also don't mind me still trying to get a thumbnail. Because honestly, there's so many good thumbnail opportunities. You gotta you gotta keep on that creative mind. Why are we a cult and think? Why do you think it was a cult? Yeah, why do you think it was a cult? What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They were shouting, cult of the tree, the cult of the tree. But you guys heard a lot then. The tree. Oh, and then we found a... The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. You found a what? You found a what? Why are you not going to talk about what you found? 
What were you doing at Colgen late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Oh, wait. Perfectly legal. Hey, Ma'am, I'm not, I'm not trying to, like, arrest you or... You're not in trouble. I'm not trying to... Okay, you know, okay, whatever. I'm here to investigate a murder. Ma'am? It's exactly why I hate small towns. Keep it down, Ed. You know how touchy these rural types can be? <laughs> how these these rural types i'm sorry city what? slickers you got something wrong with us rural types uh okay i actually uh, okay I, i'm not gonna lie i got a little bit of something against city slickers i really don't like city slickers i really okay people from the city don't understand what it's like to live out in the country you know the coyotes that run through the woods and you got like the stray dogs that like bark at night you got this i got like a bunch of stray cats that like hang around my house and like we give them milk every once in a while and they like, had some babies and they're super <laughs> cute I am taking it easy, Mr. Purse. You guys seem like a cult. Same shirt, shaved head. I don't know. Can I get a donut, coffee, something? Who's running this place? Apparently I'm about to be. Oh, let me in, let me in. Fine. <laughs> All right, what's going on here? Hi, hello. Yep, great weather we're having. Good coffee? I'm sure it is. I, I liked that little <laughs> noise that you made. Uh-huh. Yep, yeah, yeah, I saw you shake your head. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, I'm just gonna go to my mind palace real quick. <laughs> Don't mind me. If you see me disappear, it's because I'm in my mind palace. And Elio. Profiling. If you see me spazing out and drooling out of my mouth, sorry, mind palace time. The Bookers. Hmm, let's see here. Oh, wait, the Bookers, and she's a writer, she's a novelist, and she was investigating in Alan Wake. The tree. What are the Bookers telling me? On their necklace, the symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finders Keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. How would how, how would you know it's a necklace? They briefly mentioned also oh, I found A and then he's in like or and she stopped Ed. How would you assume that it's a necklace? Like from where? From what information? Please, for the love of God. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Yes. Why? This was built to hide what's there. No, you can walk around they it. Say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. Okay, okay. There's okay, okay. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw back a little bit and say that uh, I understand that technically the area was kind of sealed off and we had to go through a hole in the fence, but you can easily gain access to it. It's not like it's fully just completely like un unaccessible like they definitely there's different ways around it weapon upgrade three i haven't found if enough only the rest of the bureau knew what a softy casey is um you're looking at whiskey and sure yeah all right cool um you know i can't do anything with this right now it, really 12 12 you need me to find 12 all right yeah sure great uh hey i hope you guys don't mind i was in the mine palace again um you know, these things just happen every once in a while. So what is my objective? Interview the witness at the diner. Um, I did interview the witnesses at the diner. You got anything else to say? I think you found something. I think you're lying to me. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. I told you not to keep that thing, Timmy. Okay, yeah, there's there is no way the saga would have actually been able to there's there, there's no way you would have surmised that. Especially like you maybe could have surmised like a relic or an item or maybe a necklace, but a necklace that also has two triangles on it. Yeah, okay, okay, sure. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor, stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. 
Like we'd even dream of missing dear effect. Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. Old friend? High school friend? I never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. Okay, I, I just met you. Uh, How are you? How about uh, a traumatic experience? I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't uh, think I do. Rose what? And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird. You don't uh, remember. How do you know excuse me? daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. It, it, no. uh, excuse me, ma'am. You just met. You're gonna say hello. Then. Oh, by the way, do you remember you your dead daughter? <laughs> do you remember your daughter that's dead? If you say so. Remember how that you were a mother and you had a daughter and she drowned traumatically and like you know also she died and you're also very hurt about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember? You remember how you're repressing all of your memories? I see it on TV all the time. I hope you remember the fact that. Uh, yeah, yeah, that your daughter's dead. If you were, if we were actually old friends, I feel like you would not just leave the conversation right there too. You'd be like, no, it's me from a girl from a, from this place. And we knew each other. Okay, yeah, yeah. How do we know each other? How do we know each other? You have some questions. I'm with the FBI. I'm a federal booty inspector. Now, I, right now, I think that your ass is lying. So, Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Um, you uh don't re you, uh I don't even know where to go. What do you mean? That doesn't answer the question. Where do you know me from? Like, did I just did, were we friends? Did how do you, uh, 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 see anything strange around town? Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks. No one suspicious. But soon enough, there will be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. Mmm. Oh, okay. So, kids of all ages can celebrate deer fest at the Happy Harvest Bright Falls 81st Deer Fest. Oh my god. The big buck cheese. Hang on. That, okay, that looks like a big cheese. For nine. Okay, well, I mean, nine bucks for a cheeseburger. That seems. No, that's honestly, that's a pretty good price. I mean, it'd probably be like 13 bucks if you threw in some fries on top of that. Yeah, but um, no, 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 no. You're about to talk to me as soon as I walk out there, aren't you? Anderson, Anderson, I don't care what your name actually is. You were Anderson. Fine. Say something. All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Oh, I'm always ready to go well, take a look. I got a lead. Looks like For you, Sheriff. Cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Well, I mean, let, let's not just say it's a murder cult. cult it could, tree, you know. Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not going to find out you're the Grand Wizard. Or yeah, I was literally just about to say that. We, I'm calling it right now. The sheriff is part of it. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Ted, yeah. Ted, me and Ted go way back. Deer fest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> too true. Ah, too true there. No, too true there, there mate. Ah, oh, oh, top of the morning to you there, Lassie. Oh, oh good day. How are you in the country, hey? Oh, it's a top. I'm going to be moving on here. Sorry, I, I don't know why I turned Irish. <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. It was very, 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 very weird. The weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Backing up, backing up. Sorry, as a federal Baku. 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 Not Baku. Um, like what possible. do they call the back of the train? Lead the way, um, Sheriff. Not the Baku, is it? No. Um, well, as a federal butt inspector, I gotta back it up at all times. Let us know. We yep, backing up. Sure. Beep, beep. This how is this is how you know that we're in the area. Beep, beep. Just listen for the Agent. beeping sounds. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. Uh, is, is this um, is this something important? As you know, 
The investigation is being taken over by the federal agents. Sheriff Breaker wants us to cooperate fully. Aye, aye, ma'am. I'm being serious, Nelson. Yeah, is that all you got to say? All right, cool. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me just look and throw all your belongings here. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna take your things. I don't know about you folks, but I don't care for all these gruesome murders and whatnot right here in our wholesome little town. It's not what I signed up for. This line of work is not for the faint of heart. Faint of. Oh. What do you, okay, uh, okay, hang on. Let me let me get this through through all of your thick skulls right now. First of all, I'm gonna need all of you guys to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. As well as top of that, you're gonna need to like and comment down below because I'm a small channel really trying to make it in this big world. And if you've been watching this far in, you may as well subscribe. You have a breakfast bagel waiting for you. Okay, look, you are a police officer. I didn't sign up for the job. I don't care for all this murder that's happening. Brother, my, my brother in Christ, you it, it, you don't get the time and say when murder happens. Murder happened and you just, you were going to have to deal with, you are a sheriff. And also, why is the volumetric lighting look like they're, who's vaping in here? Why is there so much like smog? Is this place just that dusty? Oh my God, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Okay, how did I open up my inventory again? What did I find? I found another battery pack and I found a trauma pad. Adhesive bandage restores a good amount of health. I have health. I have guns and I have health. Noted. I know exactly what is going on here. Um, hey there, madam. Um, uh, took the last cup of coffee. Uh, bro, a fresh pot. Thank you. Yeah, honestly, that's just a polite thing to do. Why everybody has coffee? Is that gonna be a running joke? Is that gonna be a running joke here? That just everyone always has a cup of coffee. Is that what it is? Also, I just know I'm wearing a great sweater. Hang on, don't you turn away from me. My sweater is adorable. Is it those Christmas trees? Look at that sweater. I love how I just have like a big old FBI jacket on and then I just have a sweater underneath. That is like you guys are all in uniform and everything. Anyway, should I be doing something? <laughs> apparently, apparently I, I need uh, Jesus. I'm just pushing around these chairs. I got it's nothing. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Go to the morgue examination room. Oh, I'm not even supposed to be here. Okay. Uh, sorry guys. Didn't mean to bother you. Just going to go ahead and uh, wait. Can I go in that door? Don't mind me. <laughs> My God. Oh dear. I am a tourist. And it appears that I'm lost in the woods. It only had a tour guide, also. It's bear season. Oh no, a bear. Help. Rain is dead. I don't know what's going on Did anymore. Somebody called for a tour guide. Oh no. Wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Il Mokoskala, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World Magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's I, why- I have I, I have no more commentary for this. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna let you watch. The government. We have bolt cutters. Oh wow. You think of everything. And <laughs> we'll take you anywhere. Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. I I I I, I can't. Time is just one phone call away. One phone call now, away. To get a nine percent discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner coffee thermos. Nine percent off. Uh. Uh. uh <laughs> I have no, I have no thoughts left. I, 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 I don't have anything left to say. I don't have any commentary to give over that. I don't know where to go with any of this at all. I'm just exploring around the building. I, what am I supposed to say to that? What, what am I, what am I supposed to, it's, it's just, just LOL. Like, what am I supposed to do with this information? Hey, don't mind me. I'm just going to steal your guys' you, stuff. Yep. Yep. Just here to pay my ticket. 
Whenever you're ready to take my money. Hey, maybe you should watch the video where they said fuck the government. Am I gonna have to age restrict this video? Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, I, I, I need to stop swearing. Here, I see. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> you don't, don't mind the chair in the way. Um, I'm just gonna look at your computer. Kill the Joe, make some more. This is the third time this week I came in for the late shift and there is no coffee in the machine. You take the last cup, you brew a new batch. Ugh. I'm just gonna read through all of your emails. This is definitely not against company policy. Chip, I hate to break it to you, but you need to have a face capable of growing a beard to make effective use of beard oil. I feel a little attacked right now. Hang on, I got a nice goatee going, but I want to grow a beard, but it doesn't grow in like between like my chin and like the sideburns. It just, look, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You guys will never be able to see my face anyway. So whatever. Okay. I knew Marco's beard was too soft to be natural. What brand is he using, Lucy? Uh, what? Since my numerous friendly reminders about not having personal packages delivered to the station have gone unheeded. From here on out, you have fit to send something to the station. I will see fit to announce to the station what you have received. Is it a federal of, wait, is there a federal friends that I need to share my desk space with your late night impulse buys? Yes, it is. You have been warned, admin. P.S. Officer Lightfoot, your beard oil is ready for pickup. <laughs> okay. Hey, gang. Um, the annual event you've all been eagerly waiting for is about the community outreach barbecue. Okay, okay, cool. Um... Should I do something with the plot? I mean, I know exactly what I need to do to in, like, whoa, zoom in the bathroom. Hands up, hands up. Wait, what? I know one of you is stealing the toilet paper. I've been counting them and there is an entire roll missing every day from stock. Their left is taken seriously around here. It's a sheriff's station for Pete's sake. One of these days, I'm going to catch you red handed. You better believe you're getting thrown out. What a disgrace you are. What kind of nut counts toilet paper rolls? Sounds like you've got too much time on your hands. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice you, my man. Yeah, you definitely need to clean that mirror because that mirror is looking very fogged up. Yeah, you keep on scrubbing, my dude. Keep on scrubbing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can I, can I take the things out of the medicine cabinet? No. Anything? All right. Great. <laughs> Jesus. Here. I bet you guys are all here for crime. An innocent man. I bet you're the murderer. Don't worry. I'm with the federal booty inspectors and I see that your ass is also lying. Through the door. To the walls. To the swift drift down my... I'm not going to finish that. They're a lying bunch of bastards. I know they are. I do. I do believe you. I believe every word you've said, man. Okay, let's go to the morgue. So now I suppose the question is, when am I supposed to end this episode? Like, should I end it like now or like after the morgue? So, you know, hey, before I end it, go ahead and subscribe. But I'm so going to So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. Uh-huh. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only no, we do not. Our rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified yeah. to perform examinations. Yes. Like, my God, Anderson, it's Speedwalker over here. That is a Something very gurgly water, water bottle. They always cheer me up. I can't say can't, I feel oh the same. God. Casey, Casey, you need to get rid of like your your emo like goth attitude. Also, could, you guys could deal with some extra light. Like a morgue does not need to be all like dark and dreary. You can have some proper lighting in this place. My, uh, hang on, flashlight, flashlight. Okay. My God. Let's take a look at our patient. You guys already got him here. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. Okay. What was well, the cause of death? Uh, tearing what the heart out. What can the body give me? Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. They did have something this chest inside is his open. chest. This looks like text. A tattoo? Uh, Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Okay, what's, he's got a big ass forehead, my God. The body Dude. shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. Yeah, no, I mean, two plus two does equal fish, so it's not adding there's up. There's writing on here. It, excuse me, there's writing on the heart? Writing? How'd they manage that? Yeah, on a heart? They must have just stamped it. Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. Uh, I mean, I don't know about it. You didn't really put up much of a fight. You just kind of got, like, stabbed immediately and then just kind of, you know, just like, died. Oh, I'm, oh, the weapon palace, or the, <laughs> the mind palace is so fast. Pace board. Okay, uh, let's see here. Um, look around, put Time that to there. to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Y yeah, that's, that's what we're here for. 
anything to learn from the body um there's lots of things to learn from the body there he's got a chest wound cause of death chest is open that's usually not a good sign of health he's got defensive wounds he definitely that's also not a good sign of health like writing on the heart that's not inside the body also not a good sign of health i would have to say that most doctors would have to uh, suggest that um uh that's probably not good for you uh, bloating of joints indicates long-term yes. water exposure yeah obviously chest cause of death. wound is cause of death you don't say loaded waterlogged huh doesn't chest drums clear cause of death. wow 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 okay you are a great detective my <laughs> when i tell you what you are absolutely superb in terms of like detective work wow okay the chest is wide open that is gotta be something Richard writing illegible words on the hearts, smudged text under the victim's skin. Cool, great. Uh, what, what did you surmise There's from that one? There's something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Why don't you go take a look? Tattoos on body and heart. How did killers have time? Doesn't make sense. What, what do you mean they didn't have? They had all the time in the world. Okay, what do we got here? Television. What is adventure tours? Oh. Oh dear. I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. So it appears that we can kind of look at these at any time in the day. So hey, don't mind me, Digidees. I'm going to go ahead and watch this one more time, simply for editing purposes, because I want to get a closer look at this in the future. Fuck the government. We have both cutters. Okay, well, that was very entertaining. Okay, I got my, uh, I got my, you know, what do you call it? Um, I got my B-roll footage. Uh, we seem to be doing good. Okay, what else do we have to examine here? So he definitely got something inside his chest. Uh, that is, oh, that is very nasty. Um, this is definitely going to be all 18 plus for a video because uh, I do not want any kids watching this. Um, although we all know to any millennials out there, we've definitely seen much worse on the internet when we were younger and it was not good for us. It was not good for us. And they left a note inside the body. It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Mm, yes, Sans writing. Uh, twelve ply, twelve mini millimeter. Didn't see her. The taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Oh, so is this a story of Ellen Wake? Like, is this story real? Is like, or are these cultists like reenacting a story written by the novel? Uh. No, 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 wait. Hey, 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 excuse. Where did he just go? What? Sheriff. What the hell? Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, um, uh, it, it's, it, okay, this has suddenly got supernatural. This has suddenly gotten very supernatural. You should be dead. He just disappeared. What is going on? Oh, this suddenly got very supernatural. I didn't realize that this game was going to be supernatural. What just happened? It is dark. Um... I, I don't I don't I don't have any other words to just what just could not see into bright light. Uh, you need to shine a light in his face. What I is this is where my first combat comes into play. Oh dear lord, am I just hallucinating? Am I in drugs? Is this all an illusion? I will get into the light. Try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by any. Oh, that's different. Okay. Can I just like blind you? Lights are not off. I'm in the light. Um, safe havens will restore some of your health if you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat it will become temporarily unavailable 
I gotta go? Where do I gotta go? Where do I? Where, where, where do I gotta go? Where do? A hull, hull, gun, 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 gun. Uh, uh, uh head, headshot, head shot. Uh. My mouth is actually just a gape open right now. I don't know what to, I'm. End of chap. Well, I guess I know where to end the episode. Um, <laughs> what? What? What is this game? Honestly, actually, what is this game? I don't know enough about Alan Wake. Uh, you gotta, you gotta leave a comment down below. What is this? Is, is this copyrighted? I don't know if this is copyrighted. Do I gotta talk over it? I, I, I really hope that this is not copyrighted. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best and hope that it's not copyrighted. Please don't be. My mind is actually blown. I, I fully mean it. What is this game? I <laughs> I thought this was gonna be like a kind of like a story driven, very detective work type of situation, chill thing, but I have been proven wrong. I've been proven very, very wrong. What? I have no more words. I'm a commentator. I talk 24 seven when I'm on these videos and I, I don't have any words right now besides about the fact of talking that I don't have any words. Wow. Okay. Well, did you ease? I'm probably going to start the next episode by this song starting out without my dialogue. I'm going to start up the next episode by just having this song playing. I tell you what, um, thank you DigiDees for watching the video. I get scared easily. I have no idea what I'm getting into. I'm very surprised, but if there's one thing, um, I, I didn't forget how to even do my outros. Look, I'm still bad at these outros, which is right on point. Um, but if there's one thing I can always promise you is I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you and bye-bye. What is this game? What am I doing? Oh. <laughs>